What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Shot Keeps Going. Today, I'm gonna make it real quick. Um, I'm doing a follow up appointment on this customer who had oil stains in his driveway that I attempted to remove. We got most of it up, but um, he, he wasn't 100% satisfied. So, just you know, develop my customer service skills. I'm going back out um, to make sure the customer knows that like, hey, I'm not leaving you hanging. I'm not just here for the money. Like I'm trying to build a good reputation for me and my business. So with that being said, y'all stay tuned. Um, I'm going to set the camera up so you guys can see my process um, and what I'm going to do. Today, we're going to be working with some muric acid um, to kind of see, you know, what uh, what comes out of it. Um, I already hit it with some sodium hydroxide, um, but, you know, the customer wasn't happy. So we're going we're gonna to just see, we're going to see what, what we get out of it. If it's your first time tuning in, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. If you want to see more videos about business, um, I guess my lifestyle. At this point, I'm just kind of vlogging and showing you guys uh, what I got going on. So appreciate y'all for tuning in. Let's go. So we at the customer house. I'm going to show you guys the stain. It was much darker than this. Um, it looks kind of dark now in the video, but uh, we're going to see we can get even more up this was another one that we treated but we're gonna try to work on it some more stay tuned All right, y'all, so I got my whole setup right here. So we're gonna go over here, turn this water on, and then hook it up. So anybody that own a pressure washer or anybody that has a commercial grade pressure washer should always know, you wanna get water going to this pump and then clear the line of any air. Because if you start your pressure washer and you don't clear that line of any air, it's going to cause you a whole lot of problems. So let's get started. guys as you can see that muriatic muriatic acid was uh was pretty intense uh, totally forgot to bring my mask with me but it is what it is as you can see now it's looking a little bit better we're gonna have to see so just looking at it now you can't really tell with the ground being wet usually the ground exposes all of the spots something right here that's just not coming up but y'all can see looks like the muric acid might have done it won't know until it dries though that's gonna be a wrap we tried to uh do the best we could with that oil stain muriatic acid um looks like it maybe lifted a little bit a little bit more but to be honest like when I explained to a lot of customers, concrete is porous and it's not really much you can do to get them completely out, especially if the oil has been sitting for years. So um, I hope the customers, the customer will be happy with the final result. Um, he wasn't home, but yeah, we did the best we could. So make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, 
I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Peace.